What's good, everybody? My name is The Generation 71. Thank you for tuning back in to a little bit of a WWE 2K15 gameplay. Uh, essentially, what this video is about is kind of letting you, letting you know about some uh, or a future project that I'm going to be working on in the next couple of months, and I really hope that you guys will enjoy it. But to be completely honest with you, it's mainly more for me more than anything else. Uh, it's something that I've been planning on doing for a while, kind of been brainstorming exactly how I wanted to do it. And now I'm going to be letting you know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's just get right to it. So essentially, it is going to be doing, uh, or is going to be about WWE 2K15, more about some of the individual wrestlers in the game. Um, essentially, the first one I'm going to be starting on is CM Punk, and kind of giving you the background on him as a person more than he is as a wrestler, and how he actually got to where he is today. Um, I'm starting with him because he's technically no longer with the company WWE, so I figured it'd be the most controversial one to kind of start with to kind of spice things up, essentially. Because uh, to use a wrestling term, uh, kayfabe is dead. So what that means is, back in the day, you would only really see the wrestler on TV. You would never really see the person behind it. Um, in this day and age, though, with social media being a thing, I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> um, a lot of these wrestlers now kind of have two personas. One persona is actually on TV. The other persona is the person who is who plays that persona. The, the, who you really are. Who are you behind the camera? Um, back in the day, it would have been a lot harder to do because, again, there's no such thing as social media. The internet was barely just starting out, so there wasn't so much information off there. You really had to actually know the person to really do something like this. But now, since, of course, the internet is a thing, um, it would be a lot easier to do it. So, I mean, essentially, you see CM Punk on TV, you see him as this particular character, but realistically, he is, he does believe in some of the stuff that he says, but it's also kind of not necessarily the same person, you know, and you'll see more when that video comes around. Um, so essentially kind of laying down the ground rules for this, um, this isn't necessarily going to be a constant series. Now, I am, my personal goal is to actually do a video a week starting the beginning of April, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to happen, you know, especially uh, with working the random schedule that I always do. Um, it's kind of hard to find time to actually say, hey, you know, this is where I'm going to do a video. This is when it's going to come out. Please tune in. Um, I know that's kind of my downfall when it comes to YouTube, but it, I mean, that's kind of how you got to go with it sometimes. You know what I mean? So essentially, I will be trying to shoot for a video a week, beginning of April, of course. Um, when exactly, I'm not entirely sure if it'll be a Friday or if it'll be a Monday. Um, it'll just eventually come out. Um, as well as I won't necessarily do that many superstars. I'm just kind of thinking about some of the major ones I want to do. I know CM Punk obviously is one. John Cena, uh, I mean, he is kind of mainstream. <laughs> I mean, obviously. But it's one of those things I think a lot of people kind of already know his background. Um, but it might just be kind of interesting just to kind of dwell into that. Let people know where he actually started. Because a lot of people do hate him for the... I guess the face that he's become um, and then we'll get into those terms later and if anything I might just actually start with uh, let's get into some wrestling terms video but we'll see um, but overall he is the face of the company for a reason and again we'll I'll probably explain that in that video um, but like I said there's no real I guess goal to this series it's just something that I thought it was kind of interesting something that's interesting to me and hopefully you guys would enjoy it because it's something where you can learn about maybe you know be interested about maybe would maybe get you watching wrestling I don't know <laughs> that's not really my goal just my goal is to educate so it'll just be an interesting series but I do just want to let you guys know kind of the update of what I'm going to be doing overall and so you guys can get kind of pumped up for that um, I will say, as far as me personally, as far as my disease goes, it's getting a little bit better. I'm um, still kind of there. I mean, now I can actually talk a whole, I guess, commentary without coughing, even though now I kind of feel like I want to cough. <laughs> but it still could get better. It could get better. And I hope it really, really does get better. So, um, But essentially, um, that's what's going to be happening. Um, there'll be a couple other projects going on. I know one of my older series is kind of making a comeback. Um, again, we're kind of dated for April on that one. Just not entirely sure when in April. Um, so <clears throat> that'll be a thing. Uh, besides that, not entirely sure. I'm still trying to think of other kind of series to make. Um, wrestling I'm doing because it is kind of worldwide. So a lot of people do um, do kind of get interested in that. And hopefully I can get worldwide popularity now. <laughs> uh, but I am just trying to think of kind of like new things to do. New things to see. New things to kind of educate people about. So, But anyways guys, um, I'm just going to let the video run out with this awesome ending here. So uh, thank you for tuning in as always. You know, again, comment, tweet. 
like if you could it really does help out you have no idea but I, i'm sure you hear that a lot but if you like me you'll you'll, you'll like the video so but anyways this has been the generation 71 thank you for tuning back in love you all and we'll catch you guys later